In this video, we're going to show you some of the new features of Ligon Enterprise 14R1. So let's start with social. What we're going to do here is have a person called Mavis Smith make a complaint about her local um, authority, city council, uh, which is called Kilhaven. It's a fictitious uh, public sector organization that we've set up. And she's going to mention uh, Kilhaven uh, by their Twitter username. Uh, Kilhaven247 in her tweet as you can see here and I'm just going to put in the timing of this tweet so you can uh, distinguish this tweet from the other ones that I've been testing on previously or testing with previously so she's going to tweet that and we're going to see how that gets picked up by uh, the Kana software so here we have the experience analytics product its job is to uh, search and collect social media uh, verbatim or messages that are of interest to, in this case, Coolhaven. So we've set up a very simple Twitter search, uh, which is looking for Coolhaven 247 mentions. And this is the screen that tells us uh, when it's found uh, so, uh, one of those tweets. So we just have to wait for uh, uh, Experience Analytics to do this search. It does it every five minutes or so uh, and see that come through. And there you see the tweet's been picked up by Experience Analytics. So from this point on, we've set up some business rules in, the, uh, in this particular product to pass it on or make it available for pulling down, I should say more correctly, into Lagan Enterprise 14R1. One of the new features in Lagan Enterprise 14R1 is an uplifted agent desktop light client, or what was formerly known as Virtual Office. Um, it provides all the features that were in uh, the previous version, but we've changed the look and feel, we've uplifted it, uh, and also added some new features. One of those is a universal inbox, you can see here. And from that, a user can access cases and tweets and uh, Lagan messages uh, from the single place. Uh, We'll look into the detail of that in a separate video, but for now, let's just look at the tweet uh, that was that we're interested in. And you can see here, just filtered in all the tweets that are in the system. In the queues that I have access to, I'm going to select the one that we uh, just uh, uh, tweeted about, and we want to process that. Okay, so here we are. This is the one that was read, uh, logged at 9.40, which we're focusing on. I'm going to move this screen up here a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> and what we can do here is very quickly just look at the tweet, just to prove that it's the one that was um, the public one uh, that, was, uh, that we tweeted about earlier. So there it is. And we're not going to use that. Uh, we're, not, we're not going to use Twitter to respond. We're going to respond from within uh, Lagan. So we're going to take that, because it's on a queue, and other users could be accessing or be processing from the same queue. And uh, let's now look at uh, what we know about the person who tweeted this. So like emails and calls, uh, well like emails we can, we can sort of screen pop or uh, link it to the individual record automatically by their email address and like a call you can do it by their telephone number. Well you can do the same thing with a tweet uh, and in fact we have Mavis, we already know Mavis's Twitter username uh, which is in her uh, customer record uh, so we've been able to automatically associate this tweet with her. Uh, also we've created information about the interac uh, interaction itself and as you'll see, we'll be able to see more happening about uh, when the case is, we're going to create a case here and associate it with that person, and you'll see that get added to the interaction record. So we can move that out of the way for now, and let's process this tweet. So what we're going to do is create a missed bin collection uh, request. So we're just going to classify this. Again, for those who have used Ligon before, this will be very familiar uh, to you. Um, so let's just get cracking here. So we're just going to create a missed bin collection uh, a request. Sorry, there we go. And it's already allocated or associated with uh, Mavis Smith because she's the one who's reported. We're going to accept all the default values and create that case. And now we have to select an e-form. The default one is missed ref refuge collection, so we'll select that. And the case has been created. Now what we want to do is um, fill in the form. So let's have a look at that. So here we have the form that's associated with the case. It's pre-populated with the information we've got from the customer record already. And all we need to do is put in the date of the missed bin collection, which we're going to do as today. And she didn't mention what type of bin it was, uh, but we're going to take it uh, that it's worth just for her property and submit that. 
So what we're going to do now is just reply to the tweet so that Mavis knows that we're dealing with this and we're going to give her a case reference as well. You can see that we have that now from her interaction history because that has been now allocated or associated with the, the tweet. So let's get, move that to the side there and let's now reply. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, uh, respond here. And we're being careful to make sure that she can uh, track this online as well. We'll reply to that. And that now has now, uh, been sent out through Experience Analytics and then on to the, uh, into the Twitter sphere so that Mavis now knows we've uh, created a case and she can track it online. Again, the key thing there is that we uh, handle this just like any other interaction, just like an email or a call, uh, albeit this time it's a tweet uh, that Mavis sent. And it's worth just checking uh, how Ligon has now been updated in terms of contact history. So here's Mavis Smith's uh, customer record in Asian Desktop Lite. You can see we have our uh, username for uh, Twitter, for example, there. But let's look at the contact history. And there you can see the tweet that we just sent. We'll drill into that. And that was sent one minute ago. And there's the tweet. And we can actually then go to uh, Twitter itself. And there you can see that our response has now made it out onto the Twitter sphere. And she'll now have uh, that response and she'll be able to track it online as well. So there's two major features in, in Lag and Enterprise 14 r One then that you've seen, uh, one is the social capabilities and the other one is the new Agent Desktop Lite user client looking at the inbox and the ability to handle social within that just like any other uh, activity.